Hello, everyone. Now let's write our first Jakarta Sublet class. Okay. Hmm. Um, let's start. Uh, this is uh, what we left from last video, right? We are able to see uh, the Hello World from Tina in our browser after we deploy it. So now, uh, first, uh, we open the pom.xml. For this JUnit, we can remove, okay, because we, we don't use it for now. A dependency is where you add the uh, the libraries into this project, okay? Because when we write a servlet, the servlet is a special class has to extend HTTP servlet. And HTTP servlet is not a Java class we wrote, right? It's from a library, it's from Jakarta servlet API library. So in order to solve the compiler uh, problem in this IDE, compiler error because it cannot find. We have to add a dependency here. I'm not sure, probably guys, I hope you familiar with, a little bit familiar with depend, uh, POM, Maven. And the scope we add provided. The reason for this scope here is uh, eventually our first server demo will be deployed on Tomcat, right? Tomcat. In the Tomcat, it already has a Jakarta servlet API. You can download the uh, the source code. You will see, okay. And uh, um, so, because Tomcat already have, we when we deploy this first servlet demo to here, we don't need to wrap this jar uh, jar uh, file to Tomcat, it's already have. So provide the here, it means when Maven wrap our project demo uh, project into a WAR file, it won't wrap this dependency into here. But if you have something which is not existing uh, in Tomcat, but you need for your project, then your sco scope, uh, just leave it, okay, like this. So this is a special one for the servlet. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Okay. So now, next we have to have a place to write our class, right? So in the main, we have to create a folder or directory called Java, and Java will contains all the .dot Java files, which our classes interface, enum, or others type. Okay. And uh, um. After we create a folder, you can see the icon of the folder is uh, uh, gray. At this moment, it can the ID IntelliJ ID cannot recognize any uh, classes. So if I go and uh, write new, you will see no class here, right? Here doesn't have any class. So what you, we needed to do is right click and uh, mark directory as a source root. You have to do this step. After you are done, you can go and new and Java class. And since we are a servlet project, we have to create a servlet. So, uh, for, sorry, sorry, sorry. I will create a package. It's not directly now. Me start xing, okay? And now from here, we will create a servlet. Uh, here, you scroll down, you will see create a new servlet. Okay, and uh, if after done this step, your ID doesn't show create a new servlet, your ID doesn't show this one, what you need to do is uh, quit, okay, close ID, close IntelliJ, quit IntelliJ, and reopen. After reopen, you will see this one. I already tried it several times. Another scenario, if reopen, it still doesn't show, just wait. Okay, my laptop, I don't know, it's kind of like a slow. Uh, then after you wait a little bit, it will comes out. Okay, uh, create a new servlet. Uh, we don't need this one. Uh, oh my God. Okay, uh, okay, I'll just show hello servlet. It might have a problem. Okay. I will show you this one later. We just uh, 
by default it's checked right we don't check this one okay and uh, then class hello server hello world servlet word servlet and we call this name here okay you why cannot I click oh we, we start again okay <laughs> I don't know what happened okay we call hello world servlet we don't use this one okay and uh, click okay okay now we go and see this hello world servlet so by default when we create a servlet it will create java x servlet this is the old api uh we will i will make i will um, uh, explain what is a java x servlet and what is this one in next video okay here you will see here the package for this HTTP servlet all things is from Java X servlet.http. Uh, but the POM we are using Jakarta servlet API. And uh, uh, there's a change which is uh, a branding issue. And uh, the latest servlet API is moved to Jakarta, this uh, what's the package. So what you need to do is we can do is that you can remove all the things from here. Uh, TDS job, okay. Okay, can trace. This is because of the version. Okay. I'm sorry, I cannot. I don't. Uh, the 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 doesn't work for me <laughs> I have to import like this way the shortcut doesn't work for me okay okay so th this is a servlet we created and we fix and uh, what we do is we change using the Jakarta servlet okay everything works now and uh, after we create a servlet we have to config because when the browser make a request, it has a URL, right? We have to configure the servlet to tell uh, this URL will be handled by this servlet. This URL will be handled by another servlet. And there are two ways to do. The, in this uh, demo, okay, the, our first servlet, I will show you the old fashioned way, which is uh, configure everything inside the uh, the web.xml file which is our deployment descriptor and uh, when the tutorial goes we will explain more so here uh, when we create a servlet the id is already at this part for us right and we have to create another part which is servlet mapping don't worry okay and this servlet name must match this one and we can add the url called uh, uh, hello okay and uh, what what it does is when uh, in our browser we have the hello this URL comes it we are using Tomcat we are know hello we are find this server name and this server name is exactly same as this one okay and it will have this hello slash hello if it will we type in the browser it will handle by this server and uh, in this server you have two methods which one to go? Do you remember when we talk about HTTP request and HTTP response? If it's a get request, okay, in the HTTP header, it's gonna go to do get. If it's a post request, it's gonna go do post, okay. That's how it works. Uh, the URL must be slash hello. So now we will make a do get request, suppose, later on when we test, okay. So here we will do is, um, we can set response dot uh, uh, set content type. We are say this is a text plan. This is a tell, or you can use in text HTML. Okay, tell browser what kind of content we're gonna set. And now we were using uh, we write get a print writer. Okay, don't worry, you will know add the all of them later. Get a writer and we will write something out. Okay. Oh sorry. Out 
dot print line and here you can you like do something like this HTML oh, I just do something simple okay uh, let's uh, print hello from Miss XIG okay and uh, out sorry I print this one. print line. Let's date time dot now. Okay. See if every time when we refresh, we will see a car a updated date. Okay. So now uh, everything is ready, right? And uh, you can also change the compiler to one point eight. Uh, I'm very familiar with uh, one point eight and the others i don't see anything so now let's deploy and see if everything works don't worry mm -hmm. when you see here if for a very new beginner okay don't worry after write more you will see okay it's de deployed successfully where well, you can you can tell from here how you can tell from here deployed successfully and by default based on our configuration it will open in the chrome so it's open here but here hello world from tina is from index.hgsp right uh, we want to see we want to go here right so what to do is change the url to be slash hello and we add a slash hello here you will see hello from Miss XNG and then you will see current uh, time and when we refresh you will see this uh, here this part will be changed see here every time when I refresh it, it changed right so by doing that we only has one servlet but our information in the browser is dynamic right we, th we didn't change anything and every time I refresh the browser, this content is being changed. So this carries a dynamic content and the servlet can help us to create dynamic uh, web application based on user's request. Okay, so this is our first servlet and later on we will talk more. Okay. So make sure uh, you have the first servlet uh, ready and uh, deployed successfully can run without any problem. Mm. Otherwise, uh, uh, when our application get larger, it's hard to find the problem. So make sure the simple one, it works. Okay. Uh, that's it for uh, our first servlet and uh, we will talk more. Don't worry. Mm, did I say too much? Don't worry. I said too much. Okay. Anyway, uh, see you tomorrow and bye-bye.